In this Ask the Expert video, I'm answering questions about the one year only King George V 1918 Sovereign from the Royal Mint branch in Bombay, sometimes known as the World War I Emergency Sovereign. This coin was minted in response to the challenges posed by World War I. During that great conflict, it was too dangerous to transport gold the usual way from South Africa to London. But at the same time, Britain's allies in the Middle East and India were desperate for gold coinage to continue the war effort. A compromise was found and the Royal Mint established a branch that produced British sovereigns on Indian soil. These coins were only ever produced once in 1918 and just under 1.3 million of them were produced. To give you an idea how small that number is, in the same year, all three branches of the Royal Mint in Australia each produced over 3.5 million coins. What makes the World War I Emergency Sovereign special is that this small mintage of fewer than 1.3 million coins is the total production from the Bombay Mint. Only the Mint at Ottawa produced fewer sovereigns. The coin features on its obverse side the portrait of King George V by Bertram McCannell. The reverse side features the design of St George slaying the dragon, created in 1821 by the talented Benedetto Pastrucci while working in London for the Royal Mint. This exceptional design has become synonymous with the British sovereign itself. On the reverse, above the date, is the small letter I, which denotes this is a coin of that one year only issue minted in India. Why was there just one issue? Having gone to all the trouble of establishing the branch, the Royal Mint only ever used this for one year date of gold sovereigns. With the Great War ending in November 1918, once again gold could be transported safely along the usual route from South Africa to London. However, there were bigger plans afoot, and that was to establish a sixth branch of the Royal Mint, this time in Pretoria, right on top of the South African gold fields. The Royal Mint branch in Bombay wasn't ready until December 1917. Dyes and the coin minting tools didn't arrive from London until June 1918, and the coin presses were provided from the original Bombay Mint in August of that same year. Production began on the 15th of August, but with the war ending in November, the Bombay Mint made just one issue of gold sovereigns. The Mint was in fact closed just a few months later, in May of 1919. Fewer than 1.3 million coins were struck, a considerably small mintage when compared with over 12 million coins struck in that very same year in Australia. This is the only issue of currency gold sovereign from this mint, an emergency World War I issue, and it is the only one-year type of currency sovereign in the entire history of this coin, making it an important one for collectors. So there you have it, the fascinating story of a very special coin. I hope you found the story of the King George V 1918 Sovereign from the Royal Mint branch in Bombay fascinating. Join me for another edition where we will continue to answer questions about Britain's greatest gold sovereigns.